What's up, YouTubers? Jorge. Again, back in the truck, chilling over here at SDSU, San Diego State University. Big open parking lot, nobody to disturb. If you can't see how I'm going to end up making my way back to way the hell over there. See where all those pink little bushes are? So I'm going to end up walking way the hell out there again. But, uh, so here's, uh, here's how loud the mids and highs get with some rock. Change it up a little bit instead of the rap crap that I always play. Which rap ain't crap, but just a little change of pace. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be etched in red. This is a San Diego local band. Um, they tour all over, though. Well, they don't tour, but they, uh, they play all over in, in different venues. I mean, usually toward the west coast, but they, they have been on the east coast here and there. Um, like I said, this is etched in red, and the track is called LED. There's some pink bushes. I sure hope it's picking up over this wind because it's kind of it's kind of freezing a little bit over here. I hope my camera mic isn't going. Uh-oh. What we have here? Is that Johnny? Looks like Johnny. He's peeping too. I don't think he's get a noise violation in the parking lot. There's not even anybody around me. If it is, I guess this will be my first offense. I don't think he's going to turn all the way around and come get me though.
this this track right here is going to be called uh, Etched in Red. It's or it's not. It's the artist is Etched in Red, retard. Etched in Red, and this track is actually called uh, Sifting. <laughs> Always a thirsty bitch. Always, a fucking, always, always, always a fucking thirsty bitch. This motherfucker right here. Damn, you guys have no idea. Don't buy Dodge. Buy anything else but Dodge. All right, my batteries are hurting again. I mean, I've been blasting on this thing without my truck running for quite a while, so I'm gonna go back to the house and throw her back on the charger. I pulled it off the charger. That's why I had such a uh, good flex today because I actually had my voltage up, but like a dumbass, I didn't start my truck. I mean, I probably could have gained another half a volt or so, but eh, I still actually need to do some wiring up underneath the hood, too. still have a... Uh, I got two-thirds of the big three done. Obviously, that'd be two out of the three for the smart guys out there, but uh, yeah, I need to do the positive run. I'll show you why I haven't done it. This will be for Tom. Tom 58C. He comes to my channel quite often. Alright, so here's the ground. That's the ground, the new ground cable I ran. Yeah, I know it's got a fuse, it doesn't need one. This used to actually be a positive run because if you look here, I've got the zero gauge stinger wire. It goes down, it's lagged. It's lagged into the frame, literally. And you can't tell, but the paint underneath that is actually scratched up. I just, I don't know. I'm a picky motherfucker. I don't want to scratch up the rest of it on the outside. 
So anyway, so I got those runs, 4 gauge uh, rocks and phosgate wire running for the ground instead of, well not instead, but just on top of the steel frame rail. But the thing that I'm having an issue with here, that's a 4 gauge wire right there coming off my alternator. I don't know, it might be a 6 gauge actually. It's, it's a pretty stout wire, but I know I need to upgrade that. The shitty thing is, is it comes through, goes up underneath, comes out, where the, where the hell is it? There it is. It comes out actually in that loom. You're looking at right there. It comes through that loom, up, and then into the PCM. That's my PCM box right here. Well, uh, not the PCM box, but the fuse box. So inside this box, the hot lead of the amplifier comes in here, comes out there. So I gotta rewire all that shit and get all crazy. Anyway, I'm into my deadline, guys. See ya.